Although this is already at the end of the night, um, and thank you so much for being here, coming to watch the show, and I also would like to thank the media for writing about you know the show ever since we announced it last year, and um, Alhamdulillah, we had a sold out show, and Alhamdulillah, everything, everything went well. Ya, saya cukup bersyukur yang semuanya tel telah terhibur lah pada malam ini. Okay, soalan. Uh, Kacilah dari segi uh, pemilihan lagu. Kalau kita tengok on the first set, uh, banyak lagu-lagu yang uh, jalan dinyanyikan sendiri dalam konser. Memang itu you punya pilihan for this time? Sebenarnya kita bila buat big band ni, kita kena buat um, some song selection sebab bukan semua yang sesuai untuk buat band kan and then if you see the first segment kita banyak play the fast ones because sebenarnya banyak yang tak faham or they don't really know what is big band yeah so some people are thinking big band is it a big like an orchestra or, or something like that but so we wanted to actually show the audience this is big band so that's why you hear all the jelinga manja the pemimis muda the embon you know all that with the horns arrangement so that you will have an idea that oh okay this is big band full brass section full brass section you know uh, because selalu big band memang dipakai banyak brass section which consists of trumpets and saxophone and uh, trombones uh, it's called horns yeah or oh, they call them brass so if i were to explain this before banyak yang tak akan faham so to me it's just come you come and you watch the concert, then you will have an idea, okay, this is Big Band style. And then if you see the second part, it's all the sing-along, the band, the ballads. We cannot do it Big Band. We, we just try to add the horns in and all that, but it's more of a sing-along kind of segment at the end. But in terms yeah. of arrangement, uh, does it achieve your... Uh Yes, I think in a way, you know, we've modernized Big Band a bit. It's not so much that cabaret, New York, New York kind of style, you know. As you can see, what we're doing is actually refusing it um, to suit the songs that I do. So basically, you hear Big Band like in Michael Bublé kind of style, like that Justin Timberlake kind of style, more than the Frank Sinatra punya time lah, yeah. Kecilah dari segi tenaga lah kita tengok sebelum konsep banyak pergi gym So mungkin adakah itu membantu untuk kekal Yelah dah tua lah. kan <laughs> No actually if you ask me If you want to be a performer You must be fit Do you know why? It's not just so much the singing But also kita punya punya timing In this industry is really haywire that's why I said, kalau kita nak masuk industri ni, kita mesti betul-betul minat. Sebab apa? Kadang subuh, bangun, nak pergi airport, menyanyi sampai tengah malam, tidur pukul 4 pagi. And then tidur pukul 4 pagi, besok ada flight catch at 9 o'clock in the morning, you have to go to airport. And then your show is on the same night. You know, so then we have shooting, you know. So our whole, um, apa orang kata, jadual tu memang Badi. tak tentu. We don't have a 9 to 5 job, but the upside is we can be working like I've been working like crazy since January, but lepas ni saya rest lah. I can rest for two months. You know, I don't have work every day. But when I have something big like this, then I better be disciplined because if not, I couldn't have performed like that. I would be tired, tak boleh, suara tak sampai, you know. So, there are many aspects that I have to think of if this is my rice bowl, ini periuk nasi saya. Kalau boleh, saya nak buat sesuatu yang saya suka untuk jangka masa yang panjang. Jadi, saya harus jaga ini periuk nasi saya. So, as you can see, yeah, we are like athletes. We need to be fit because you know of our timing and also the fact that Macam kalau saya buat rehearsal, tadi saya nyanyi 20 lagu Tapi bila rehearsal satu lagu tu nak run through dua kali So that means I'm doing it 40 times And rehearsal can be what? 3 times a week? That's 40 songs a day, 3 times a week So you imagine kalau you tak fit and as you berusia Tak tahan lah 
Yeah. It seems that the audience couldn't get enough of you, especially your, your biggest fan. Because you know they still want you with the old songs. So mungkin selepas ni ada next concert yang <coughs> Insha Allah, Insha Allah. You know, in fact, actually, <coughs> my 40th year in, is in 2025. So we have about maybe one and a half years to actually plan for it, Insha Allah. You know, but I do not want to talk about something that is not. Real, apa orang kata belum tentu lagi hmm. Saya ni bukan jenis suka cakap je Kalau benda tu dah nyata Benda tu dah memang betul dan Benda tu akan jadi Then I will inform you yeah. Were you surprised that this concert uh, Sold out and fully packed Because you actually doing something different With the big band, big band concert um, Well let's put it this way I am not overconfident to, to think That it's going to sell out You know jadi kita buat terbaik kita buat uh, sebaik boleh you know and then lepas tu kita berserah kat Allah insyaAllah you know it will be a sold out show yeah you know so that's it I try and do the best that I can I mean for me when I do a show is definitely of quality saya memang menitik beratkan quality bukan gimmick ke apa apalah so as you can see when I'm on stage I'm alone besides my musicians there's no dancers nothing because I want you to actually menikmati you know the beautiful arrangements that's done and then the delivery and then you know like dengar lyrics dia apa menusuk hati ke tidak you know because like I said music is art it must move you move emotions it's not just the, about the beat yes there are music about the beat but that's a totally different genre yeah but with my kind of music I want you guys to Menikmati, listen, listen to the arrangements, you know, listen to the different instruments that have been played, listen to the lyrics, apa kaya memberi anda, like I said, you know, some songs struck you, affect you, touch you, that's important, that's music. Okay, my last question, yeah. among, uh, you among, 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 all, among all the songs, uh, among all the songs, uh, arrangement di mana yang di paling-paling, Suka untuk Big Band concept malam. Wow, actually I like them all. You know, there's the Piramli medley, Pengemis Muda was really well done. Jelinga Manja. I was so surprised that you bawa Jimmy Boyle to because that was. Oh, actually I have always loved the classics. Yeah, and lagu jauh-jauh ni memang saya dah dengar dari dulu. Cuma kali ini I thought you know since we doing Big Band because you know people like. Uh, Jimmy Boyle and people like Alfonso Soliano these are all big band guys they came up with big band these are the pioneers you know and we must know that this is our national heritage these are these are musical heritage and the media also needs to learn because we need to educate people to listen to what is good and then you will see kita punya, what do you call that, our, our of excellence to That means that we are so used to be given this, we will want to hear that. But if we are so used to be given that, to us, that is considered the best lah that we have. You know, is, is there a difference between a chair, kalau kita kata kerusi. Eh, minta kerusi? Ya, what chair you want? Do you want? Uh, uh, apa orang kata kursi kain ke, kursi plastik ke, kursi kaca ke, kursi bambu ke so it's all up to you and I think we have the responsibility of being in the music industry, being in entertainment to educate people, to listen to this kind of things, our classics, jangan lupa jangan rasa nak dengar yang baru, boleh dengar baru tapi you know kita punya heritage tu actually if you ask me today mana dia what is it that we call can call ourselves uh, can call uh, uh, music that our identity where is Borea are we writing about it are we actually educating our youth to listen to this is what kita punya identity kita punya budaya you know where is Diki Barat these are all our heritage And jangan kata music tu tak elok because to me music tu macam saya kata tadi the positive messages in music music can actually teach 
us. We can learn from it. Dia ada banyak dia punya, you know, tapak lagu dulu-dulu cantik tau. Dia punya, apa orang kata, um, perumpamaan dia, you know, dia tak terus cakap, aku cinta padamu macam tadi. You know, macam Aini lagu, aku cinta padamu kan. Dia memang ada macam, ada bunga di, di taman, ada lebah interested. You know, and all that is kiasan yang, it gives us the idea. So, we must all go back to that. How beautiful all that is. But unfortunately, kita macam tak mengetik berat kan tu lah, you know. Yeah. Datuk, uh, aku mau menyampaikan hati ketika mengatakan uh, tersebut. Tadi sebenarnya, um, yalah, you know, I saw the picture of my mother on the, as I was getting ready to go on stage. You know, they were playing the montage kan, and I saw her. And um, yeah, then when I was going to do Gerimi Semalam, and I thought, I would like to dedicate this to her. Tapi kalau nak kata nak nangis apa tak adalah sangat sebab apa kita dah mesti bebas benda ni banyak kali. So kalau sebab pun masa dia rasa lagi pula. Yes. Datuk, yeah. kembali semula ke uh, Dewan Merdeka mm -hmm. sejak kali pertama 1988 ni untuk mungkin apa beza dia Datuk yang boleh gambarkan. Ya lah dulu dari awal-awal. So kali ni lah. Dulu masa tu saya muda. <laughs> pakai skirt pendek lompat-lompat. You know what now you there? Domlah. Dia pun cakap dulu. Ya, so uh, macam mana nak kata and I think maybe dulu saya tak begitu berpengalaman untuk ber berinteraksi, you know. So but it was a great concert too at that time, you know, in 1988. Everybody was going crazy. But I think now I'm a bit more sure of my direction, you know, or how I interact with the audience, how I read them, you know. Saya naik stage tu, kalau you all tak tahu, bila first song tu, I'm actually scouring the whole thing, watching how they are reacting and all that, and as the audience react, that is when you go on and on and on and how to actually bring the mood up and get them to enjoy the show. So it's a, a balance of a lot of things. Not only really the music, not only really the singing, the musicianship, the script, everything is has to be uh apa orang kata seamless. Ah uh, dia ya. Setiap kali ni selama ni buat konsert bukan saja orang lama tak peminat baru pun ada. Ah saya bersyukur alhamdulillah sekarang saya tengok banyak budak-budak muda juga. Ya dulu kan selalu mak-mak dengan bapa-bapa aja. But this time around saya tak tengok ada banyak muda. I think it's simply because you know when they have those festivals the DJs you know the kids are into this DJ thing right? And the, and the DJs are playing sinaran, remixing it. So, ia memberi nafas baru buat uh, kejaya saya sebab waktu itu saya pergi uh, Indonesia. And I did this festival called Sound Drenaline. And they were saying that this is a young crowd. And I was saying, you know, why the hell are they calling me? <laughs> you know, I'm like really like macam tiba-tiba je ada anti ni satu dekat atas stage. So, you're like, semua muda-muda. But the nice part was, yeah, when I was singing all the other songs, you all dengar, keluar sinaran, you all pergi melompat. And these are 15, 16 year olds, you know. So, saya bersyukur. Because in a, in a way, insyaAllah, it will keep my uh, career longer. Because of these new fans. Hello.